What's up, comic fam, comic fans? Welcome to the FOC Show. This is the last call to get your comics at a discounted rate before the orders are put in by shops and they know what to print. These books should be coming out April 20th for DC and the 21st for every other comic company. If you haven't heard, Marvel switching distributors to Random House Penguin. We'll see how that goes, but Diamond supposedly will still play a role in delivering those books. So, let's get into the FOC action right after this. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, go ahead and like the content, and leave a comment down below. I'd like to know what you guys are thinking. All right, so let's start the FOC process. Let's start with DC. We're going to look at the books coming out of DC. Batman Black and White is just, uh, I think it's a great comic. It just lets you know a lot of different things about Batman and in short little spurts but with great creators so here we have Batman black and white issue 5 I think this might be the final issue in the series it's been fun it's an anthology series a collection of art and and writing short stories but you know you got Jamal Campbell in here Mariko Tamaki um, who else is in here? Uh, Jamie McKelvey, Karen Gilli Gillian, um, Lee Weeks. Just a lot. A lot of great comic artists and and writers here. And there is a Jenny Frizen cover. And the thing about this book, guys, it's all black and white. There's no color. So it's it's really it's really good. All right, that's all I can say about it. It's really good. It's excellent. And uh, definitely worth a look. Issue 4 had an appearance of a new Robin, so there's a ton of Robins out there these days, but there was another Robin in that one, so definitely worth a pickup. And we're just going to keep going. As you can see, there's some other books coming out. You got The Authority by Mark Millar and uh, Frank Whiteley. Alright, so what else do we got here? We got Catwoman. There are two beautiful covers coming out on Catwoman number 30. You got the Joel Jones version. Of the cover as it loads very slowly it appears that my AOL dial-up is not optimized today but <laughs> here it goes there is Joel Jones artwork in all its glory for a while she was actually writing and drawing the book now Rom V is doing it she did a cover for this awesome and you got Jenny Frizen doing the cardstock variant and I love some Jenny Frizen so there you go and you can see there's some uh, some leaves there and that only leads me to believe that Poison Ivy will have a hand in this issue all right you got DC through the 80s the experiments hardcover so if you're into hardcovers retails 50 bucks on this that should be pretty cool all right a storied survey of the decade that changed comics forever all right you got some flash cool flash cardstock variant we'll go back to that zizhu all right keep it going you got harley harley quinn's got her own black and white and red trade paperback coming out justice league keeps it rolling it's got a new creator on there, Brian Michael Bendis, with a backup story for Justice League Dark by Rom V. And I, there's going to be an introdu introduction, I believe, of a new villain. Uh, you know, so I don't know if this will be like the first full or origin story or something like that. Or maybe there won't be anyone in this one, and I'm just totally off. But Justice League... If you are a Brian Michael Bendis fan, he's now writing the Justice League. All right, we're going to keep it going. Oh, uh, I hit that guy, so we're going to check that out. 
Oh, look, it's a, you know, I guess it's a YA for John Constantine, so that looks cool. All right, we got some Nightwing. I know there's a lot of Nightwing fans out there. And uh, Truth and Justice. Is that another Constantine? I have no idea what that is, but that's issue number three. So I've already missed the first two. Yep, it's John Constantine's story. <laughs> and man, are these images loading slow today. But this cover looks like it was worth the wait. Doug Braithwaite on the cover. All right, cool. All right, and that is it, guys, from DC. For DC, that seems to be a good amount of books. But let's keep it moving. Let's go to Image. All right, you got Ha Ha. So far, so good with Ha Ha. It's been a really fun series. The covers have been awesome. This is from the same guy who brings you the Ice Cream Man. Every week is a different story. Let's see what this one is. Gustav in the world of floating objects. A wise clown once said that everything floats, and he was right. So it'll be interesting to see what this... Uh, these all these books are about clowns and to see what the take on clowns will be with this one all right you got some other some other books coming out from image obviously i'm just pointing in directions of books that interest me radiant black is coming out that's getting some some heat people love it or people think it's okay let's see what this is about all right well it looks like uh, all right, not sure what this cover will be. If that's the cover, that's interesting. Hmm. All right, gotta keep it going. Stray Dogs, fun series, really fun series, and I'm loving the horror covers. Oh man, that's cool some good Stephen King action right there all right so definitely stray dogs definitely worth a read and actually uh, did they have the synopsis there under the farmhouse something rots and no matter how well they're trained dogs will be dogs now they've uncovered ah excuse me now they've uncovered something that can't just be buried again yeah it seems like a fun time if you don't know what it's about it's a dog Looks like it gets adopted, or at least taken from its owner, but it looks like the person who now owns the dog killed the previous owner. And it's about the dogs trying to discover the truth. Alright, and you got some Walking Dead. The Deluxe, if you like The Walking Dead in color, or you didn't like it in black and white, now's your opportunity to own it in color. They're up to issue 13. And I've taken a peek in a few issues. I have a few copies of those. And uh, it's cool. It's cool to see it in a different different view. All right, Dark Horse. What does Dark Horse have coming out? There you go. Kajakaru the Skinner seems to be the new number one coming out of Dark Horse. And this is uh, it's about witches and... It's a Mike, Miola, Mike Mignola story, so it seems to be cool. I think they're. Is this a reprint? It's only there's only two issues, so I forget what the deal is with this book. But if you like Mike Mignola, here's your chance to uh, read some of his stories. Let's maybe see a little bit of his art. He might do a cover or two, or do a sketch in the book. So we'll see. He's not the actual artist artist on the book. There's the rest of the stuff. You got Orphan and Five Beasts, number two of four. Issue number one was pretty good. So here you go with issue number two. I'll let you read the synapses for yourself. You can go ahead and pause it if you want, but let's just take a closer look at that cover. I don't know, that just, it's different. I like it, it hits different. All right, we're gonna go to IDW. You got Godzilla, Monsters and Protectors number one. Got this nice little black and white. Right. Throwback to the original Godzilla movie. 
that's pretty cool pretty cool indeed and so what else do we have my little pony for you my little pony fan sleeping beauties number six of ten Stephen King works on that so that's not a bad book for all got some TN TMNT you got some Transformers and you got some Usagi Yimbo all right DC we already went over so we'll just quickly scroll through these guys again got some Superman red and blue number two as well good stuff all right Marvel Comics Ooh, yeah, you got Aliens number two. Aliens number one just came out this past week. I thought it was pretty good. Pretty good first entry. We've got Stephanie Hans doing the cover B. I just love her art. This is different. This is cool. So, yellow background. I like. So, I'll probably pick it up just for that. Besides, I was planning on picking up issue two anyway. Just as a continuation of picking up one. One was a lot of introduction, so two might have a little bit more action. We got Spider-Man number 64 for you Spider-Man fans. Right now, spider mans it's funny. It's good. It's not great, but uh, I'm still reading it. That's my take. Sticking to it. Got some Avengers. Just looks like a cool cover with Blade and a bunch of vampires. This looks like a King in Black tie-in. So that's cool. Alright, let's keep it moving. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Got some Black Knights, some Captain Marvel. You got Carnage, Black, White, and Blood number two. Number one came out this week as well. It was a decent entry. Good art, good stories. Anthology. You know, a couple short stories. Four, four short stories in there. Champions number six has a pretty dope cover if you ask me. Not really reading it though, so not sure about the story overall. We're gonna keep scrolling through Marvel. Got Valkyrie. Yep. Got some Marvel team up hardcovers. 75 bucks a pop. Some other books. Spider Woman. Always has some nice covers with that. Sword, Ultraman, Way of the X coming out. New X-Men series written by Cy Spurrier. So, X fans, there is another book in the X universe, in the X Men universe, another entry. Looks like Nightcrawler is going to play a big role in this one. So, Nightcrawler fans, there you go. There's a book for you. You got Women of Marvel number one. The Peach Momoko one seems to be pre selling pretty well. Just. Just throwing it out there, whether you're a fan or not, it does seem to be doing well on the pre-sell market. So, it's out there, if you want it. Just throwing you a little bone. Alright, we're going to Dynamite. Don't really buy a lot of Dynamite books, but there are always a ton of covers from Dynamite for each book. Keeping cover artists in business. Lots of strong female characters. Sacred Six, I heard, is pretty good. We're just going to keep scrolling. If anybody has any review, comments, uh, insight into the Dynamite comics, go ahead and throw it down in the comments. So many covers. So nice, though. All right, Boom Studios. Firefly. Covers have not been released yet. Jim Henson Storyteller, Luna, you got there. You got some Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number one limited edition hardcover, $24.99. You got some more Power Rangers, images to come soon, Inspector. Not too much there that I'll, I'm looking at. And here are the rest of the books. We're just going to scroll through them. See if we see anything. If you see something you like, feel free to just pause the video and take into account what it is. Write it down and then go pre-order it at your favorite store. Some stores give you up to 30% off when you pre-order before 
the FOC deadline. So a lot of times it is worth investing in the FOC. Alright guys, so that's it. That's all the books coming out for this FOC. Remember, Sunday the uh, 27th is the last day for DC books, usually before 6 o'clock. And Monday, uh, sorry, the 28th is Sunday before 6 o'clock for DC. And uh, Monday, which will be the 29th, should be the last day you can put in your orders for Marvel, Image, Boom, Dark Horse, uh, yeah, Dark Horse, um, all those Aftershock, all those other comic companies. So make sure to put it in. Also, guys, just a quick heads up. I like to go, this is how I get some of my information, is I'll go to a website and, you know, it says all this, but you can usually sort stuff. So right here where it says sort by, if you sort by best selling, you can see what's selling well at a particular shop. That'll help to inform you as to what to get. So you got that Stephanie Hans that I was looking at that's selling pretty well. You've got this pretty dope Carnage black and white blood number two. Does it tell us who did the cover? Description, cover artist, Sarah Pacelli. So that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty dope cover. I enjoy that a lot. And then, uh, there you go. Women of Marvel number one, the Peach Momoko variant. That seems to be selling pretty well. So those are some cool books to look at. If we scroll down a little bit more, you got some Captain Marvel number 28. I think there's some spec behind that. You got the Justice League I was talking about with Brian Michael Bendis. And you got that Jenny Frizen cardstock Catwoman number 30. And I'm not sure about the Wonderland Annual Reign of Madness one shot number one. But there you go. So that's how I do that. Like I said, you can go to other places too. This one has hot pre-orders, so you think, so you see something is killing the children number 17. That's not even coming out for a while, but you can still pre-order it now. Department of Truth number 10 is pre-ordering now at this place. Things from another world. And then they also have uh, number ones. So you can see there's Spawn Universe is on there for you Spawn fans. There's a new Usagi Yimbo comic coming out. So just search around. See what you like, find a store that suits your needs, and you know, use that information to the best of your knowledge and ability to go ahead and pre-order your stuff, usually at a discount before everybody else. So you don't have to worry about running to the store and your LCS being out. Also support your LCS. So make sure to have a pull there and get some books that way too. All right guys, that's all I got comic fam, comic fans. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Thank you for tuning in. If you like the content, go ahead and smash the like button. Thank you so much. Do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to save some money on comics. Peace.